Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $434,000 for the purchase of the following replacement vehicles for the Department of Public Works? One, three-quarter ton truck with plow. Two, 35,000 pound gross vehicle weight dump trucks with sand spreaders, plows, and wings. And one solid waste yard truck with the replaced vehicles to be traded in if deemed to be prudent by the Public Works Director, Town Manager, and Board of Selectmen. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until these purchases are completed or by March 31, 2018, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 8-4. to four. The fiscal impact note is 13.1 cent per thousand dollars of um, valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion? Article 20, Hello. moved by Mr. Waddell, seconded by, do I have a second? Seconded uh, by Mr. Bridal. Um, Mr. Jacobs, would you like to speak to Article 20? Thank you. Um, this article is similar to the wording that was used in last year's article, which was approved, where we did ask for one three-quarter dump truck uh, with plow blade. Um, to give you an indication how long it takes to get some of these vehicles, the truck from last year's article arrived last week. So um, it does take us some time once uh, the funding is approved to actually bid, award the bid, and then get these trucks fabricated. Um, the other two trucks that are being considered would be the 1996 International and a 2001 Freightliner. Those are the, the next two heavy dump trucks, plow trucks that we look to get um, replaced. Reason for replacement is uh, age and condition. Uh, unit 41, which is the international, um, 65,000 miles on it, um, probably doesn't sound like a lot, 7,000 uh, hours. Uh, one of the problems that we're having is when it's, it's, it's the condition of Hampton. It's, uh, it's, to be honest with you, it's, it's the salt condition. Um, in my some of my weekly reports back to the and monthly reports back to the Board of Selectmen, there regularly are issues of um, fuel tanks that uh, literally corrode and fall off of trucks. For instance, um, one of the newest trucks, the Kodiak, uh, and it's less than six years old, had a fuel tank. Uh, the straps and uh, holes through the fuel tank had to be replaced uh, here in the last week or two at a cost of $2,000. So these particular trucks, Unit 41 in particular, are over just from 2013 through 2016, $18,000 in repair costs. As the trucks get older, the parts get more costly and they're more difficult to come by. The other truck that we're seeking to get replaced is Unit 43, dump truck with plow and wing. Uh, it's even newer in that it's a 2001, but with 35,000 miles on it and over a thousand, it says a thousand hours, but I believe it's a slight typo. 15, the, the issue is the $15,000 in the repair budget in the same period. You have a truck with uh, 65,000 that you used 18,000 in the repair dollars and a newer truck that used $15,000 worth of repair. Um, the, it's proving that, if you will, this particular truck is not um, going to make it in the long run. And um, while we can get some trade in value, it would be better to trade this truck in and get something newer, uh, less expensive to maintain. The other vehicle that we have added to this, and it shows up in the lower uh, photo, that little red box, is what we call a yard horse. Um, particularly effective and uh, a particularly useful tool that they, the transfer station, solid waste people use on a daily basis. We use it to, as trailers are full, haul them away from the transfer station and then back empty trailers back into the transfer station. That's why they call it a yard horse. It's not an over-the-road truck. That's a $4,000 purchase that I probably made five years ago. It uses an old-fashioned rubber bow, uh, ballast balloon to literally lift up the, uh, the trailer on the end. Um, we traded and got that as an improvement five years ago because the other truck wouldn't even run. One of the issues that um, we're seeking to address with this is 
when I the first month I became director, April 15, I came back from town meeting or meeting with the manager to the site of one of those trash trailers on fire. And um, they disconnected the yard horse from it, called the fire department, and then we stood around and waited. Um, we were trying to see if we could get in one of our over the yard, uh, uh, over the road trucks in so that we could work the hydraulics in the trailer and actually push the refuse out on the ground because we can't do it with that yard horse. Uh, we were not able to, we couldn't wait for that other truck to show up, so the fire department got up on top, cut a hole in it, and then proceeded to fill it with, with the liquid foam to uh, put the fire out. So it's one of the operational issues we have with it. Uh, I would say probably three times a year we get um, the truck, the trailers bound up or literally stuck. We can't load them or unload them, um, and it takes working the hydraulics. And if we don't have somebody else to show up to the yard to help us do it, uh, it just, well, we wait. It just doesn't get done. That becomes very critical in, it's an operational issue on Memorial Day weekend, uh, July 4th weekend, and Labor Day weekend because um, we literally will fill all six trailers in one of those three-day weekends um, to, the, to the point where we're, in a couple times we've run out of room or we've run out of storage capacity. When that happens, we've used the trucks to literally dump the recycling on the ground and which we pick up later on and then refill that particular trailer with uh, waste. So we're operating on the edge, literally, and uh, replacement of that yard course would address a safety issue, potential fire hazard issue, and allow us to operate more efficiently. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jones, you wish to be heard? Yeah, Al Jones, 147 Exeter Road. Uh, we're sinking a lot of money into vehicles to keep them going. All we're asking is to supply us with the equipment so we can do our jobs efficiently and safely. I support this article. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 20? Seeing none, Article 20 will appear on the ballot as printed.